about vibrant communities and it's too big. But I don't see it like that at all. I see a vibrant learning community with distinct sections meeting the needs of all students at the different stages in their education. And our sixth form is an example of a smaller group of students who are almost like a school within a school. With over 300 students, we're able to offer a truly dynamic curriculum and range of opportunities which every student deserves as they prepare to meet the challenges of the future. And to give you an idea of the quality of our students, I'd now, I'd now like to hand over to Samantha Beggs, head girl, and Josh Wynn, head boy, to give you their reflections of life at Bangor Academy, which will be followed by the Key Stage 5 awards. <coughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Samantha Beggs, and I'm the head girl here at Bangor Academy in Sixth Form College. Today, I would like to take you on a short journey with me. As a shy, apprehensive, and introverted 11 year old, I was one of the last children to sit the 11 plus exam, and as anticipated, I failed. I therefore began my journey lacking in confidence in relation to my academic abilities. My most memorable part of junior school, however, was being recognised in year 9 for all of my hard work. I received an award for being the top pupil in my form class and was promoted to the A band as I had excelled in my summer examinations. Throughout primary school, I had never been invited to a school prize giving, so to receive this invite, I was ecstatic. It was at this point that I realised I could achieve anything if I set my mind to it. Without the support from the school, I never would have formed this change of mindset. Bangor Academy made me feel like I was part of something very special. Entering into GCSE level was an unsettling experience as the workload drastically increased. My teachers, my teachers, however, gave me valuable support and guidance throughout to ensure I was coping with this challenge. Two years later, I tracked as the top GCSE student, achieving five A stars, three A's, and a B grade in my GCSEs something I never dreamed possible in a million years. Then last June, after an unnerving interview, I was awarded the position of head girl. From that shy girl hiding at the back of the class, I had emerged as someone considered worthy of an important leadership role. I feel very honored, and I cannot begin to show my thanks towards this school for giving me all of these opportunities and bringing out the best of me. It has also motivated me to obtain the qualifications to go on to university, and I am proud to say that I am the first person in my family to achieve this. Bangor Academy not only encourages academic growth, but it also provides opportunities for students to broaden their knowledge of the world, giving memories to treasure forever. I was able to complete my Duke of Edinburgh Award in the Lake District, and I was able to travel to Berlin and Poland with the History Department. The friends I've made here will stay with me for a long time to come. I am fortunate to have a great group of friends in sick form who always know how to cheer me up when the stress of A-levels gets too much. My achievements and the achievements of all the pupils receiving awards today are proof of how Bangor Academy strives to maximise the potential of all their students. Now as my time at this school comes to a close, I am saddened to leave behind Bangor Academy and all the enthusiastic, encouraging, a more important people who have become what I can only describe as my family. The last six years have passed like the blink of an eye. Would I change anything you ask? The answer is absolutely nothing. Thank you for listening. To have become the person I am today wouldn't have been possible if it were not for this school. To help you understand what I mean, I'll take you back to the early months of 2009. To a tearful, disheartened P7 child, terrified at the thought of going to the large and high school in Bangor. I'll be honest, this was me. I was frightened at the thought of entering a school that was new on a bit of an unknown. So, fast forward a few months. It's late August 2009. I'm standing in a new blue, royal blue and navy tie, an uncomfortable blazer which was far too big for me. And the sight of an impressive curved piece of architecture is making my gaze. Yes, 
Life of Mike are coming. I cannot imagine a place that would show so much dedication to the needs of its pupils time and time again and offer them so many opportunities. In my time here, I've been involved in football and rugby teams, the school council, the reading partnership initiative, the scripture union, school productions, the champion school project, the millennium volunteers award, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. There have been so many opportunities in and outside of the classroom and now I'm able to reflect back and see how these have benefited me. I'm able to say that today I've become a more confident individual with not only the grades and merits to my credit, but I'm able to think for myself and I have the confidence in my talent and abilities to speak in front of anyone and be heard. I'm also confident that the skills and qualities Bangor Academy has helped me nurture and develop will help me go far in life and the ministry, which is the career I've endeavoured to follow. But today is about the prize winners, and that's you, the pupils of Bangor Academy and Sixth Form College. For some of you, your journey is only the beginning. You may feel like a lady on a large tree. You're part of something larger, along with many others like you. You may feel that you're not special, no different to anyone else. But that's where you're wrong. I'm aware there's uh, science teachers present, so don't judge me if I'm wrong here. Each leaf has a job to do. They are responsible for how the tree gets its energy and survives. If these leaves didn't do this, the tree would wither and die, and the leaves wouldn't have any purpose. I like to imagine Bangor Academy is like a tree. It gives its leaves, its pupils, purpose and a job to do. However, as we all know, a leaf's time is limited. And the day will come when it's blown away from the tree by the wind, beginning a new adventure. This is when our pupils leave school and begin life in the real world. So be sure you have done the best job possible. Because once it's over, it's over. And oh, believe me, you'll miss it. I challenge you, the next generation of pupils, to work, enjoy, and enjoy, so as to maximize your potential in all areas of your life. And finally, let me say a well-deserved congratulations to you all. This is afternoon is about you. We are celebrating your successes, your achievements, and your accomplishments. Well done. Look back at these things and remember them so that they can push you in the oncoming academic year. Keep your heads held high when you wear your uniform. Be proud of your school, because Bangor Academy is proud of you. Thank you.